Okay, so here's an example of a rational function when we need to take a limit of it. Uh, the first thing uh, we would want to try is just plugging everything in. All right? So if we plug in 4, we get 12 plus the square root of 4 all over the square root of 16, which goes to uh, 14 on top, right? 12 plus 2 all over 4 on the bottom and we just get uh, 7 halves or 3.5 so that's the easy part uh, the difficult part is when they start asking you questions like when is the numerator continuous well you gotta remember numerator over denominator so when they're talking about when the numerator is continuous they're really just asking when is this function continuous and that function is going to be continuous for all values of x that don't mess up our radical, right? And what are our rules for radicals? We just can't have negative numbers in the radical. So this thing is going to be continuous um, on the interval 0 to infinity. It's going to be uh, continuous. Because as long as x is 0 or above, we're fine. Okay, now the denominator, same question, right? We just can't have a negative in the denominator. So now we just look at this as saying 12 plus x must be greater than or equal to 0. Right, so x must be greater than or equal to negative 12, and so this one's continuous on the interval negative 12 to infinity. All right, so that's that one. Um, then they might ask for the interval where the entire thing is continuous, right? So where is everything continuous? Well, in order for the whole thing to be continuous, both pieces have to be continuous. So really this is, um, it's easier than it might seem. Here's our number line, right? And I'll do a green for this one and we'll go uh, negative 12, right, and then everything in this direction. That is this one, right? Everything above negative 12. And then, since I don't have yellow, I will use red and go everything above 0, right? That's where the top is continuous. So the whole thing is continuous where they overlap, right? What they have in common. You just have to pick x's that satisfy both of those continu both of those um, things simultaneously, both of those conditions simultaneously. So if you pick everything from 0 and above, you get both conditions. So this entire function is continuous on the interval 0 to infinity. You're basically just doing the intersection of the two intervals where it's continuous. Now the next thing it asks for or it, it points out is the fact that uh, 4 right, is in this interval. And since 4 is in that interval, we know that the function is continuous at 4. And because the function is continuous at 4, we're allowed to do this simple math here and state that the limit does, in fact, equal 7 halves or 3.5, whichever way you want to write it. All right. Hope that helps.